My name's David, welcome to Running Breakdown. This is the Nike Pegasus Turbo 2. Um, it's a fast one. It's light, it's speedy, um, it's got enough cushion for that 10, 12 miles. I'm gonna sort of start my way on the top, my way down to the outsole. Okay, so the upper has been improved from the previous version. Um, it's, it's quite a, it's quite a dense um, material upper, uh, which I wasn't really expecting. I thought it'd have a little bit more give, but there's a lot of, a lot of sort of structure in here where they've, where they've weaved the knit. Um, not much of a, a heel counter uh, to speak of. They've got a couple of pods that just run down just below the ankles, no rotation. Just, just keeps, that, keeps that locked in there on the sides. In the back, there's a small hill counter that sort of just runs a little lower than the previous version. Um, a little less stable in the heel, basically, is how it works out. Um, a lot less padding in the tongue, which is um, preferable to me, but I would have liked a tiniest bit more padding here in the tongue, um, just to protect on that, the latter stages of the, of the runs. Um, yeah, laces, great standard night laces, good length, um, not too stretchy, not too strict, uh, like strict. Um, so very good in that sense. Uh, breathability, yeah, pretty good, pretty good breathability. Um, it, it's, it's worked well over winter as well, which I was quite surprised with. Um, I thought it might be a little bit cold, but, uh, no, it kept the heat there as well. So it's kind of got that balance going on. Uh, does get very wet uh, and keeps wet, stays wet, no matter what you do. So it uh, takes a little time to dry out there if you do get it caught in the rain, but that's most shoes, to be honest with you. Um, Size-wise, yeah, great standard Nike size uh, for this shoe. Um, I like an eight and a half. I, I go into a nine if, um, if a shoe is uh, particularly tight in the forefoot, but no, this, this was eight and a half, my, my standard, my happy size. Um, so yeah, great, great upper. Um, a few, if, if you want to look at the old upper, uh, dual mesh upper, um, that was a bit of a touchy point for a lot of runners there. You kind of made the shoe look a little bit like a Porsche 911. It's very strange. Um, didn't particularly like the heel much either. There's a big um, heel counter as well, very much sturdier heel counter actually um, than, the, than the, the new version. I found this ran a, a little bit more firm as well because um, your foot was sort of just pushed a little bit further forward because of the, the padding you had in the heel here. Um, where for the new version, you kind of you kind of sit back in the driver's seat a little bit more. You've got a little bit more of that zoom X underneath your heel. Um, and that actually does help with the propulsion aspect of the shoe as well. You will find that's more propulsive than um, propulsive, not repulsive, than the uh, old version, uh, the Turbo One. Um, so going on into the midsole, you've got the Zoom X in the top, and then the React foam uh, lower down. And that does sort of thin out a bit towards the heel, so you'll get less of that Zoom X uh, aspect in the forefoot and 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 the React foam will be more prominent there. Um, but you, you, will, you will get a lot of propulsion here from the heel that will just pop you into your forefoot and then off you go. That's pretty good for that. Um, would I use, so how do I feel about the stack height, sorry. Um, 10 mil drop is a little bit high for me, um, but I found when the Zoom X compressed, which it does uh, quite a lot, it actually felt more like, a, like an eight, seven millimeter drop um, through the transition. I did find myself landing midfoot, which is great. Um, my, my preference for a shoe. So the, the, met, you know, the biometrics of the shoe as it, as it goes through your, your gait cycle does, does lend to a midfoot strike, uh, which I was quite impressed with. Did not expect that from this shoe. Um, yeah, so yeah, great weight wise. Um, how much, how much do I expect the midsole to, to last you? Um, between that, I was impressed of it. I do honestly believe it's going to last about 450 miles to 550 miles, which is um, 
pretty good bang for your buck because it is an expensive shoe. It's the 160 mark uh, retail. Um, obviously, you can find them deals here and there, but you, you know, the 160 is, is its uh, RRP, so um, that's, that's the benchmark it needs to hold up to. Um, I do think you're going to get uh, your miles for this, uh, the price that you're putting down on this shoe. Um, the React Foam has been very noticeable um, in the fact that it, it lends stability to the midsole as well. So it stops you sort of rocking either side, um, which is necessary in this shoe just because of the Lacabe Hill counter. Um, but the rest of the upper does does lend a bit more stability to the shoe. So that's always very good. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, great, great midsole. Um, I wouldn't really want to use this shoe though for more than a half. I wouldn't take it as full as, as a full marathon myself as like a, um, as a race shoe. Um, I, I, I just like a little bit more foam here under the forefoot myself. Um, but that, that's just my taste. Some, I mean, I could do a, heart, a marathon in it, but uh, I, pro I won't basically. Um, outsole, impressed, very impressed. Good coverage. Um, was a little bit worried about these areas here on the side, but they lend a bit of stability again to that, that very thin uh, midfoot section. Um, and the durability uh, is just phenomenal. The only wear I'm picking up is just off the toe up here uh, because I use this for like a lot of one mile reps um, where I pick up the pace a little bit more in, in this shoe um, for longer distances. So I do tend to use a little bit of wear here on the front. The rest of the shoe has stayed, I mean, it's almost like it's out of the box and it's, and it's done 100 miles. So um, this, this is actually why I'm sort of thinking this shoe is going to last such a long time. Um, it, it's, it's impressed me with its outsole durability. The React foam I know from previous versions has, uh, has lended shoes to, to last in a long time. So it's, it's a phenomenal shoe, um, well worth the money. Um, I, st I still don't think it, it, it kind of lends into someone's um, you know, if you're gonna have two, three shoes in your running lineup, uh, I I feel like this one is is perhaps not propulsive enough to be your speed work shoe, not really cushioned enough to be your daily trainer, um, and certainly not cushioned enough to be your long mileage shoe. It's kind of an awkward shoe. It's like if if you have enough space in the lineup for another shoe, it's great. Um, it's light. It's got just enough cushion for that 10 mile bracket. But when you start picking up the miles into marathon training, it, it, it kind of worries me um, the, the cushion level of the shoe it perhaps isn't enough um, to stop you from getting injured in, in the long term while you're doing all that training. Um, so I'm glad it's in my lineup, but I'm blessed with a, a large lineup of shoes. And if I had one or two shoes to pick from, um, this wouldn't be in that lineup. If you've got one, two, three, and you want a fourth shoe, great, go for it. It's awesome. Uh, so that's kind of it, really. Um, good shoe from Nike. Solid, solid update uh, from the previous version. So yeah, give it a give it a go. Thank you.